We're looking at the inside of a Copeland 3D digital compressor, and you can see right down in there, that's where the oil comes to. So the oil comes back and it gets in here with positive force, it sucks in the oil, and then the oil comes up through here into this positive displacement pump. As it turns, it pushes the oil through to feed all the different journals and all the different bearings. You need to have the proper net oil pressure. And that's where you take the pressure from right here. You take the pressure from right here and you take it from the crank. And you do your calculation. And that's how you get your net oil pressure. And you wanna see anywhere around, if it's a new compressor, 40, 50. If it's an older compressor, it could be like 25. But when you get down to 10, PSID or below, that's when the core sensor, the Centronic is going to trip off. Super important to look into application engineering manuals and, and figure out exactly that model that you're working for. Uh, you're working at, look up the Centronic old school. You might not see a lot of them anymore, but definitely the core sense protection, core sense diagnostics. You're going to see a lot of those out there. You've got to understand how this stuff works. Check those manuals, learn about them. Love to hear your questions or comments. My name is Charles Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.